Howdy gang, welcome back to Pool School. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about aerators. What? Yes, what they are, how they work, what they're supposed to do, and how to adjust them. So what do you say we get going? Alrighty, before we get started, I wanna remind you to like this video if you do, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already, and please, please, please share my channel with everyone you know who owns a pool. Alrighty, gang, so believe it or not, we are at the end of September. Actually, we're kind of in the middle of September in Arizona, and we've got some rain going on, which is somewhat surprising, but we'll take it because we don't get much rain. So what is an aerator? This, my friends, right here. See that little white nipple right there? That is an air reading. Notice that little slot right in the middle of it? That's an opening, and that pipe goes to the pump, all right? That's really what the aerator is. What it does, theoretically, is when the pump is running, and I'll show you in a moment, it sprays water, and you can adjust the amount of spray, up in the air, and Theoretically, what's supposed to happen is the water is then supposed to cool in the cooler air, kind of like a, uh, a misting system. And as it falls into the water, it tends to help reduce the temperature of the water. I'm gonna turn the pump on so you can see what it looks like when it runs. So there it is running. You notice the water spraying out of the nipple. And again, as I said, it's adjustable, but you notice the water goes up in the air. And usually when you run them, when they work best, is at night when the temperature is cooler. Because what happens is those water droplets, they hit the air and a little bit of evaporation, but the, they tend to cool down. And that helps to keep the temperature down in your pool. Honestly, in Arizona, it works pretty darn good. They actually do help keep the temperature down. I've seen pools with them and pools without them. And the ones that have them and have them operating at night when the air is cooler tend to work a little better, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to adjust the aerator and the flow of the water. Okay, so I am here at the filter and equipment of this pool. You notice <clears throat> the pump basket is pretty full, so I'm gonna have to empty that. I've just started my service for the day on this pool. But this little pipe right here, you notice that it comes off the return side of the filter. This is the return side. It comes down here. This pipe right here is going to the return jets of the pool. And this little pipe here, notice how it's been reduced. With this little valve is your valve for your aerator. Now, these valves are very simple to, to handle, but what I suggest doing is turning this pump off. What I suggest doing is turning your pump off before you try to adjust this and the water flow because sometimes the pressure coming through here can make this kind of tough to turn. And as these get older, these little wings get um, brittle and the plastic gets brittle. And it's hard, even if it breaks off these wings, you can turn it with pliers, but it's nicer to just turn the system off. Then you can adjust it. The more in line you make this, this toggle or the wings with the pipe, the more open it is, all right? And the more perpendicular <clears throat> you make it to the pipe, the more you cut the flow off. Right now, the flow is completely off. But you'll notice, I'm gonna turn it fully on and you'll notice this one, when it's running fully, it will probably spray way too far. That's actually not too bad. Some of these systems, when they're running, when the, when the valve is open completely, the spray is so powerful, it sprays over the pool and doesn't land in a pool. So you gotta make sure that your pump, uh, that your flow and your valve is adjusted so that you get maximum flow of the aerator without it blowing out of the pool. Because in that case, obviously, you're starting to empty your pool and you're defeating the purpose of trying to cool the water. So make sure you adjust that. Okay, so I'm gonna try to adjust this now without 
turning it off. This one's actually pretty easy. So I'm gonna turn it completely off. And you'll notice, no more flow to the aerator. Yeah, see that nipple there? No more flow. In this pool, during the summer months, and in most of my pools, I run the aerator during the summer months. There really is no need to run the aerator in the cooler season or in the winter months. And towards the beginning of the season and the end of the season, most of the time I don't run the aerator just because most of my pools do not have heaters. In Arizona, you don't really need them and they're really expensive to maintain and to run in Arizona. So what we'll do is we run the aerator and that helps keep the temperature down. But to not cool the water in the spring and the fall to extend the swim season, we shut that aerator off, okay? This aerators, they run about the same, the same amount of time that the pump runs. So whenever the pump runs, they run, unless you shut it off at the valve as I showed you. But that's pretty much how the aerator works. So here is the big question I get. Do they really work? Do aerators work as they are supposed to in theory? My answer is yes, most of the time. Typically, if you run them at night, when the air temperature is cooler, you're going to find it helping to cool some of the water and it'll help maintain or regulate the temperature of the pool so it doesn't get out of control like it can in Arizona. In Arizona, our pools without aeration, they can actually get in the high 80s. Um, above ground pools, I've seen them get as high as 94 degrees, which makes it kind of like swimming in soup when you're swimming. But the thing to remember is they work best in dry air. They work best at night when the air is cooler. The more humid it is, the less evaporation. Think about it this way. It's like an evaporative cooler. Evaporative coolers work best when the air is dry. So if you live in a really humid place, evaporative coolers don't work as well. Same thing with an aerator. Same principle, same problems, okay? So that's really my take on aerators. I do believe in Arizona, they do work for the most part. Oh, one more quick note about aerators. Um, you People have asked me this question before. Since the, the water is blowing up in the air and you're getting some evaporation, is that gonna eat through chemicals faster? The answer is, uh, well, the short answer is yes, sort of. Um, when it's running at night, you've got the cooler temperature in the air anyway, so it's gonna help cool the water. And yes, it, you are gonna have some more evaporation, a little more evaporation, but if your pool is equipped, as most pools are, with an auto filler, you should have no problem with the water level of your pool. And as far as the evaporation and how much chemicals are evaporating because of the aerator use, it really is somewhat negligible. I think if you're maintaining your pool chemistry the way I teach you to do on a weekly basis, you should have no problem with it. It shouldn't be evaporating that fast to make a really noticeable difference on how many, how much more chemicals you're gonna use, like I said, so that's kind of negligible. I just wanted to let you know that. So folks, that's my video on aerators, what they are, how they work, and what they're supposed to do, and how to adjust them. I hope it made sense. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to, to uh, post them in the comment section below this video, or if you'd like, you can email me directly. Always my email address will come across the bottom of the screen here. It is Kenny poolschool at gmail.com. Once again, Kenny poolschool at gmail.com. I want to thank you again for watching. Really quickly, I want to give a shout out to my friends at Sunday afternoons. They're the people that, that make the hat that I usually wear in my videos. And uh, I did a contest, which is over, but uh, gave away a couple hats to a couple lucky winners. Thanks to Sunday afternoons, they were willing to give me some hats. But if you'd like a hat like the one that I usually wear, it's the Sunday afternoons adventure hat. And you can go to their website, which I'll put in the description of this video. It's really easy, sundayafternoons.com. Sundayafternoons.com, punch in adventure, and you'll see the hat. Many different colors, and it's got a lifetime warranty. Anyway, hope you enjoyed my video. And until we meet again, remember, have fun, be safe, and always, always, always watch those kids around water. And I'll see you next time.